Tiffany, in the past three weeks, 200 people in Austin have landed in the hospital after using K2. One Harlingen man found himself in the same situation and says he's had enough of the drug that took over his life. I've been smoking it for five years. 21-year-old Keith Jones says synthetic marijuana caused him to lose his job and people he loves. He was only 16 when he tried it for the first time. Quitting hasn't been easy. My brain was reacting to it, going crazy, you know, without the drug. Just last week, he suffered from a stroke that doctors attributed to his withdrawal symptoms. It had him wishing he'd never picked up the habit in the first place. There's people that are selling it, please, I'm begging you, need to stop. Some types of synthetic marijuana are still legal in Texas, but a new law will change that in September. Jones says because he could buy it easily at a gas station, he didn't think it could be a dangerous drug. In reality, I was hurting my family. I was hurting myself. Now he's turning to his family as he struggles to recover. His mom says it's been hard on her as well. Nobody wants to see their children in their hospital like that. But she is optimistic he won't go back to the drug. This few days I've, I've seen the process, uh, I've seen him talk very positive. Jones plans to take his message to young people, warning them of the dangers of synthetic marijuana before they go down the same path he did. After you think about it, your conscience knows that it's wrong and you know it's hurting your body, but you know that you can't get away from that high. Now, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there's been a 229% increase from last year in the number of synthetic marijuana-related calls made to poison control centers. In the studio, Annalise Ortiz, Action 4 News.